Hey, buenos dias guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about the Dark Arm um, Dragon of Annihilation with you guys. Should we play that card? Should we not play it? What are the pros? What are the cons? I'm going, going to uh, go into detail today in this video, so stay tuned and let's say, I mean, at the end, you can still decide if you want to play or not, but I'm just going to tell you because I feel like a lot of you people don't understand how important that card really is. So let's go into the details, guys. Okay, so first of all, one big thing that I like with the dog arm dragon, like, let's make this clear. He is not our main priority if you want to go into Kali Yuga, okay? Why? Because the thing is, um, going with the steam line is less complicated and you can actually play it through multiple interruptions, okay? But... For some reason, there's always like some random opponent's dudes that are interrupting you at the wrong time that you just do not expect. For example, what happens if our boy Borea Storm gets imped? If he gets imped, we cannot send steam and if we don't have Gale on our hand at that situation, then we are screwed. We are literally screwed. Screwed, but it's not a problem. It's not a problem if we are playing with a dark arm because now we can just switch and say fuck it. I'm gonna go straight into my boy and we're still gonna end up on our our thing okay so that's one thing uh like if you're not prepared for random interruptions and it's gonna happen it happened to me a lot of times and there was a time where i did not play that card and i was like dude why did i cut this card and there were times where i had him and i was like thank god i had him okay so that's one thing the another thing is why this card is so good is that if you are uh, going second going second you can always summon let just just overlay this card on the uh, black wing dragon okay while you're going full combo just put it on him and now you can pop a random card on your opponent's field and that is huge it is huge okay especially like if you're playing against decks that have like field spells or whatever that or just like a random set card let's say sometimes they want to uh, keep their imperm okay sometimes they want to keep their imperm because they know okay i don't know uh, they they're just trying to wait for some card to pop and then there you go you got the dark arm boom just pop that monster okay so he's going to save you a lot of times that's one thing uh yeah and then this just really really important next thing what I like about this card is in a critical situation when we are going first and our hand looks really really bad where we are actually forced to banish six cards with pot of prosperity then what what cards are we supposed to banish if we do not play this card like if we don't have the dark arm dragon okay let's say we do not have him okay and we're gonna banish six cards if we banish six cards because we're playing the azure falcon line then usually these are the cards that we have to banish okay we're gonna banish here berserker and now two more monsters we want to banish so the thing is like we don't really necessarily want to banish the borea storm and the black wind jungle we could okay like we can always get him away but the, but then we always have to banish uh one falcon okay uh, sorry one uh, assault dragon so like it is possible to do stuff like this okay or maybe i get two of those away Something like this, okay, this is possible. But if you're getting nipped in a situation like this, then you're screwed. Okay, if you banish six and you're getting nipped, you lose. So what I like to do is keep the black wing assault dragons, banish those cards. Okay, we're gonna keep the black wing dragon. Boom. Banish the falcon. Yeah, you can just easily banish those six cards, and now even if you get nipped. You can still end up on the two town black wing soldiering or let's say you want to uh, play with full arm master then like this okay so even if you get nipped you can still end up on those two monsters but otherwise like if you banish six cards and then you're getting nipped it's over okay so this is also another reason why i love to play this card and uh now let's go into the combos because the combos are actually like you destroy though Destrudo is a great, 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 great card in this deck. He is first of all a great small world rich. 
Okay, really, really good because we use him with my, a couple of hand traps that I'm playing. And the other thing is like, he's a dragon. What that means is we can just special summon him and then go into Dark Arm Dragon. Like just overlay the Dark Arm Dragon on him. And we can do stuff like this. And I'm going to show you now ways where with the Falcon build, you wouldn't be able to go into anything. But thanks to the Dark Arm, you can actually do something. So <laughs> let's let's check that out. Okay. Alright, so this is a hand that usually if we, if we see like this, we just scoop. We just scoop because what the fuck is this, right? What the fuck is this? Let me show you how you can actually play with this hand, okay? And it's only thanks to the Dark Arm. So we're going to special summon those. Now uh, special summon him. Obviously, you have to, like, you, this is not something that you want to do in time, okay? Definitely do not want to do this in time. <laughs> now, going to Y6. Y6 will give you Shamal, okay? And now, you're actually going to activate Zephyrus' effect by bouncing back the Shamal. So, now you can special summon Zephyrus. And now, uh, you want to activate Shamal's effect because you need this card on your, uh, in your graveyard, okay? You need it on your graveyard. Now, uh, you can... Uh, you're gonna keep the black feather wound. It's not important this turn, but next turn it will be important. Now you want to go into Bardish and activate his effect to send the Raiders ring and set the rank up. And now, as you can see, or you can't see, now we got five dark types in our graveyard. What that means is we can now overlay boom into our dark arm dragon annihilation. And if you're scared of raw sphere mode or whatever. Then you can activate Bodhi's effect to pop himself. Now you can special summon uh, the Raiders Ring by detaching the uh, the Strudo. And the cool thing about that is because usually if the Strudo would leave the field, okay, if he would leave the field, he would be now sent on the top of the deck, okay. But because it was a material attached on a uh, Dark Arm Dragon, he is going to stay on the graveyard and in the graveyard, and that is huge. That is huge. I'm going to show you why. So. With a hand like this, all we want to is just summon our Kali Yuga and survive. Okay. Um, let's go into Kali Yuga. Boom. Our opponent is not able to out him for some reason. Why? Whatsoever. I don't know why. Maybe he's playing Labyrinth. Whatever. Okay. He's not able. Next up. Forget about Hamilton. Now we can activate the Strudo's effect again. But be careful, guys. Because look at our life points. Our life points do not look good. Okay. They just did not look good. <laughs> we... <laughs> We're wasting a lot of life points, okay? But that's fine because now we are actually going to OTK our opponent. Boom. We're going to special summon the Strudo. Now use those two to go into Raikiri. Now we're going to chain the Black Feather Wildwinds to uh, special. First of all, chain one uh, Feather Wildwind, chain two Shamal to send like special summon uh, Vata to our. No, send Vata to our hand. And special summon uh, Zephyros. Now we can special summon Vata. Go into Borea Storm. With Borea Storm we can send Steam if we wanted to. And yeah like there's just a couple of things that you can do. Now if you also wanted to you can now tribute either the Kali Yuga or Borea Storm. And then go with Raikiri into... Um, Look at his name into uh, fuck well armor master yeah but what's also important is before you go into Borea storm guys don't forget you can right now pop two monsters thanks to raikiri okay or pop two cards you want to do that if you want to otk and then go into him boom 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 send and yeah you're just going to otk this this way by destroying two cards and then you can also pop the back row with kali yuga if you wanted to and this is like a bad hand situation, okay? So that's one thing. Let me show you the other thing. Uh, I have showed you guys this combo in another video before. But just to make sure like how important Dark Arm is. This is the only way, okay? You cannot go into this combo with the Azure Falcon. This is like this really, really bad hand. Usually you do not want to normal summon Chinook, okay? You just do not. But thanks to the Dark Arm, we can actually end up on a full board. And like... This is what I'm saying, guys. Dark Armed is not something that you want to prioritize. But if you don't expect him, he is actually going to deliver. And that is huge. That is really, really huge for us. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Just keep that in mind, okay? 
Oh yeah. And last but not least, guys, like if the other thing is that you can do is if you are playing all those, let's say, Magnum moods and uh, like if you want to play a lot of beast dudes, if you're playing a lot of beast dudes in this deck, you actually uh, like it, it makes more sense to play the dark arms. Like if you play full like beast dudes, I say you're playing three to six beast dudes. Then this card comes in even more in clutch. And then what I would uh, suggest to do is to take out completely the Azna Falcon line. And then add like three different cards into this deck. For example, Dragoon or whatever. Okay, there's so many things that you can add to this deck. If you don't want to, uh, if you like fully focus on the Dark Arms. And that is also huge, really, really huge in this deck. Like, you got so many options, guys. Literally, you got so many options with the dark arm, and yeah, he he is definitely going to surprise you in the, like in situations where you do not expect him to pop, and he will shine and he will help you. So yeah, that's it, guys, for me today. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and yeah. Thing about dark arm is guys that we we haven't really like i mean i did okay uh, now i see the full potential of dark arm which is why i love this card and you also need to understand like what other cards could we add to this deck if it's not the dark arm in my opinion the darkness metal drink does not really make sense right now because shift does not it's only been seeing it like kashtira and not most of the times like uh me personally out of 10 times i have played against shifter not even once like almost not even once so uh don't expect shifter that much okay therefore yeah and people i don't i'm not even sure if they yeah whatever okay uh yeah let me tell let me know what you guys think guys okay thank you for watching bye bye